Okay. We've got a couple things from Top Secret. Get this is in from the vault. What's this going is on? from a couple. This is from a couple days ago. So um, yeah. I hope you remember them um, because you made them. Oh, okay. So this is the TCA 9584. So we already have a, a breakout for this um, that doesn't have STEM QT, but we've had enough people ask us for STEM QT. Um, and also, I had the idea of um, having a logic level shifter so you could connect this to like an Uno, and then the clients, you know peripheral I squared T devices could be three volts instead of, uh, you know, whatever, five volts. So I thought that could be kind of useful. Okay. Um, so it's a little basic breakout with uh, eight QT ports. Next up. Uh, next up, like I mentioned, uh, the MCP 23017 is really hard to get. Um, but the SX1503, which we showed off on a great search a couple weeks ago, is not hard to get. It's available. It's also 16 GPIO. A um, couple trade-offs. There's no address select. Um, and there's only one IRQ, but it has a kind of a funky um, voltage level shifting capability, uh, which allows you to, um, when you're doing the IO expansion, you can uh, use it to I interface with like as low as 1.8 volts or as high as 5.5 volts and it's five volt safe, you know, but also again, for a lot of people just using it for buttons and LEDs, it should, uh, it'll work very similar to the MCP 23017. So uh, I designed a very similar breakout board, almost the same size. And that's top secret this week. We got more next week. We have a backlog of top secrets. So, so many. You'll see them soon.